So, <clears throat> this is an email which I received from one of the doctors here, and this is Dr. F from Iowa. I've been in practice for 16 years, Dr. Dehan, and I'm happy to know that uh, I love what I do. I'm not getting any referrals from my patients, however. Even over the 16 years, I've tried everything from asking them to doing everything that I can. I'm just not getting any referrals from my own patients. Most of my practice is growing and continuously growing by the advertising that I do. I fear that if I stop the advertising, I'm not going to get more patients. What would you recommend? It's a good question. It's a good question. How many patients should you get from your own patient? What kind of referrals? A good practice should get you, for one patient that comes to you, three referrals. Each patient should be able to refer to you three new patients. You say, well, as you can see, this doctor from Iowa is not getting any, zero, and he's been in practice for 16 years. Well, it's the way that you're structured in your practice. You see, if you do good for somebody, the idea would be for them to promote you to other people. So first, you have to do good. And if your patients feel comfortable with you, if they feel that you're giving them a good treatment, and if they realize that you're a good doctor, and that they like what you've seen, what, they, what they've done, and they like the things that you've given for them, and they like the results, they'll go back and tell other people. That's just a natural evolution. That's just what happens. But for that, for that, you have to be good at what you do. So the question is, what does that mean to be good? Well, there's a few things that you have to review. And let me give you the list of things that you want to review, perhaps to see whether or not what you're doing is appropriate. Number one, make sure that everything in your clinic is amenable to inviting more patients. That things are nice, they're clean, they're in order, they're organized. So people feel totally in place with you. Second, make sure that the environment itself, the rest of the environment, is soothing. People come in and feel comfortable there. Somewhere where they would refer all of their friends and someone to tell, I tell you, when I go to my doctor, this is such a beautiful office. The staff, the people, the chairs, the smell, the pictures, everything is just such a beautiful environment. Give that experience to them. If they walk in and it's an experience, they will share it with others. You won't have to say very much about that. Next, about yourself. The kind of person that you are. The type of person that you develop. Don't confuse charisma with character. Charisma is the ability to elicit favor from another. It's charisma. So you have charisma. Charisma is like a magic wand. But character is different. You see? The word character comes from the Greek word meaning chisel. A chisel is a sharp steel tool that's used to make a sculpture. And when it does, when it does the sculpture itself, it chisels into it and it stays deep in there. That's what character is. Make sure that you're a doctor or a man or a woman, a person, a human of character, not charisma. Charisma will come and go. Make sure that your character is what you show to other people. The word character is what you want to be known as. You want people to walk away and say, he's got so much character. This doctor, she is so kind. You want them to say about you that it's not a charisma. The charisma, like I said, is something to elicit a favor from another, something that you're talking to other people. It's like a magic wand, not what you want. You want reality. Last but not least, make sure that besides your treatments, and if you think your treatment, by the way, are not good enough, make sure you go back to continuing education and find out someone who can help you and teach you in some of the techniques. Last but not least is about your attitude and telling people about what you want. You should not ask, in my own belief, you should not ask someone, say, by the way, please refer your patients to me. Because that sounds, besides the fact that it may sound a little bit presumptuous, you're almost asking for them to support you. But here's what you need to say, and here's what you could say. And you heard it right here on Dr. Dehan Live Show. This is what you say. Mrs. Johnson, I really appreciate you being a patient of mine, and I really love treating you. If you appreciate what I've done for you and the way that you're being treated, would you be kind enough to tell your friends about it? Because I want the whole world and everyone around us and around you and in our beautiful city where we live in to feel 
and be happy and healthy. And in order to do that, we have to spread all of this goodness that we have. I have been given the privilege and the ability to treat patients. And you yourself said that you're happy with my treatment. Why don't you tell your friends about it? So that we can treat everyone and let everyone live a different lifestyle. A life of health and happiness. You see, that's a whole different approach. On one hand, the person comes and says, please refer to me because I need business. The other is, let's help the whole world become better. Let's help everybody become better. I hope this answered your question. And if you have any more comments, please feel free to leave them in the suggestion box below, in the comment box below, and I will be sure to answer. Thank you very much for your comment. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell to get my latest update.